The U.S.-Canadian border is an interesting place. It's the world's longest running border between two countries. It's also the most open border. This right here is a section of the border known as the Peace Arch Park. On the U.S. side is Blaine, Washington. On the Canadian side is Surrey, British Columbia. Normally, visitors to the park would be able to go back and forth across the border without having to go through customs and immigration as long as they stayed within the park, as I have outlined right here. Unfortunately, due to the current travel restrictions, the Canadian side of the park has been temporarily closed. However, the U.S. side of Peace Arch Park is still open and Canadian residents are free to travel from Zero Avenue in Surrey, B.C. and enter the U.S. and then re-enter Canada without having to go through customs and immigration. Granted, they stay within the park. But it is forbidden for U.S. citizens, such as Nasty Nathaniel, to enter Canada via Zero Avenue. And the RCMP, Canada's National Police Force, are keeping a heavy eye on this section of the border, as you will see in just a moment. So this is it, folks. This is the actual border. So I'm standing on the U.S. side, but all those homes that I'm looking at, these are all in Canada. So these are Canadian homes. This is Zero Avenue. This uh, neighborhood is known as Douglas. It's in Surrey, B.C. Got a nice jag. Hi! Some friendly Canadians. So we got some vehicles here on Zero Avenue going by. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi, are you Canadian? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, so this is this is uh, Douglas. Is Douglas like a city or is it just uh, like a neighborhood? It's just the name of the border. So this is actually White Rock. Oh, this is White Rock? Yeah, and the beach goes all the way around White Rock Beach. Well, it's South Surrey White Rock. Oh, awesome. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for talking. Bye-bye. Yeah. That was nice and friendly. Not so far, pretty friendly experience from the Canadians. So this ditch right here is actually the border. This is literally the line right here. So if I was to cross over to the other side of this ditch, I would be in Canada. And it looks like uh, somebody just walked across right there so they must be Canadians yeah that's the thing uh, returning Canadians are allowed to go from the Peace Arch Park from the US side back into Canada but from my understanding if I tried to go across as an American citizen without going through a Canadian port of entry I would be uh, subject to arrest so I'm at a Peace Arch State Park. I'm uh, walking along the U.S. side, Washington State, and right behind me is the ditch, and this is the actual line. This is the line between U.S. and Canada, right here, as you can see. So, you know, this is how how open this border is. When you're here and you look at it, it's a strong contrast between the southern border and the northern border I mean I've crossed the southern border more times than I can count and it's a completely different animal down there so right behind me is the uh, border monument it says United States on one side but if I was to go around here to this side it says Canada so, oops, I just illegally crossed the border. Uh, go back across. But 
it's just an example of how open this border is it's just really amazing i mean people i've already seen several families cross it's just ah, it's like nothing i've ever seen before hi how are you I'm doing fine, sir. How are you? Excellent. We've noticed you keep hovering over into our area and back over again. Oh, I thought it was beyond the... the... Yeah, the... no, it's okay. We're not too worried about it. Oh, okay. We have cameras that show when people cross over, that's all. Oh, okay. You're more than welcome to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to get a shot of, like, the side that says Canada. Yeah, yeah. They're, so... they're pretty neat, hey? Yeah, so what? what is, is, is this, is the, is this the actual mark? Like, if you cross over that, are you in Canada, yeah, or is no, if you cross beyond that? Well, it's a, it's a gray area right here. We let people walk around. We try to keep it from each road to the parking lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's fine. All right. So, I like, I'm, I'm a U.S. citizen. Yeah, that's right. So, like, I couldn't, like, step onto Zero Avenue without going through CBSA? No, or? no. You're not supposed to be over here. Okay. Yeah. But then Canadian residents that live in, like, here in Douglas, they can come back and forth across as long as they stay in the park? This park is what we consider like an open area for both sides. Oh, okay. This is the U.S. park, right? Yeah, this is Washington State. But they let the Canadians come over here. Oh. As long as you don't pass over onto the parking lot. Oh, okay. But our Canadian side is closed right now. But when it was open, we would let U.S. people come over to our park as well. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, well, no, that's good information. No. Yeah. I don't want to break international no, law. You're doing great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, I've been getting a lot of pictures. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you for being professional. Well, see, folks, that guy was nice and friendly and professional. Now, the, he's a RCMP. And what's interesting is, if you notice, they're driving um, unmarked cars. So that's kind of sneaky. So, wow, well, that's something to keep in mind, folks, if you're thinking of sneaking across the Canadian border. If you see a unmarked car, maybe the police. So it looks like that um, RCMP is back and he's, that, uh, that border patrol agent I talked to wasn't lying. He said they're really active in this area and it looks like they are. Yeah, they're on it. <laughs> 